we are given that theta is not equal to pi upon 2 and that theta lies in the open interval between 0 and pi. These two conditions imply that sine theta is strictly greater than 0 and strictly less than 1. Therefore, the infinite geometric series 1 plus sine theta plus sine square theta plus and so on will have a finite sum because the common ratio sine theta is less than 1 and this sum of the series is equal to 1 upon 1 minus sine theta. This sum is also given to be equal to 4 plus 2 root 3. Therefore, 1 minus sine theta is equal to 1 upon 4 plus 2 root 3. Now we multiply the numerator and denominator of the right hand side with the conjugate of 4 plus 2 root 3 which is 4 minus 2 root 3. So we get 4 minus 2 root 3 in the numerator and the denominator we have 4 square minus 2 root 3 whole square. This simplifies to be equal to 4 minus 2 root 3 in the numerator divided by 16 minus 12 in the denominator. This is equal to 2 minus root 3 upon 2. Solving this for sine theta we get sine theta is equal to 1 minus 2 minus root 3 upon 2 which is equal to 2 minus brackets 2 minus root 3 divided by 2. The two cancels in the numerator and we are left with sine theta is equal to root 3 upon 2. Now since theta lies in the open interval between 0 and pi, therefore there are two values of theta that satisfy the condition sine theta is equal to root 3 upon 2. The first is that theta is equal to pi by 3 and the second is that theta is equal to pi minus pi upon 3 which is 2 pi upon 3. Therefore, the possible values of theta which satisfy the given conditions are theta is equal to pi upon 3 and theta is equal to 2 pi upon 3.